my name is Nana and our today's topic is while loops. So before we understand how the actual while loops code works in JavaScript, let's consider an example from a real life. Uh, imagine you're the owner of a company that produces chocolate bars. You know exactly how to make one chocolate bar, you know like how to melt the chocolate, put it in a, some kind of a container to give it shape, then freeze it and then package it and send it to the store. You can do it perfectly. You can do like five chocolates, it's easy for you, five bars, you can do it on your own. But what if you need and you do need to produce like uh, thousands of chocolate bars for a single day? You. It will take a lot of time and it's almost impossible for a person to do all that work one by one all the chocolate bars. So what you, you would do, you would buy uh, some machinery, a, fac a factor, factory machinery that you can use that thing, that machine, to, you, you just give him instructions how to do that. You repeat it one time and it does the rest of the work on its own. It repeats the same set of steps multiple times for each of the chocolate bars and so you get the result. Um, that's exactly how while loop works in JavaScript. So a while loop, it, loops are like programming elements that repeat a portion of a code set number of times until the process is complete. Uh, like if you have a set of code that you want to repeat that set of lines of code multiple times, you just put it in a loop and it does the same thing multiple times. Uh, so how its syntax is simple. You just create a variable i. Uh, inside the while loop, you increment it by one, for example, each time, uh, and then you check. You, you just write while i is, for example, less than 10, you do something, it can be console log, it can be anything, and you say i plus one, or i plus plus. So what this code will do is it will repeat this set of code 10 times. Like, First time it will be zero, it will check, is it smaller than 10, it is true. It will do the sets, add 1 to i, and then check again. It is 1, it is still smaller than 10, do the same, and then for 2 it is still, this condition is true, so it does the code again. It does all of this until i is 9, it goes here, it becomes 10. And the next time that it checks if i is smaller than 10, it is 10, so it is false and it will go out of the loop and continue the code. So this was simple, I guess. So thank you for watching. See you on the next video.